Okay, what's your question? My question is this. What is your definition of immortal? Living forever. No, that's eternal. Okay. Once okay. again, what's your definition what, of immortal? What's your definition of immortal? First you tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. Okay, I don't know. Let's go with yours. Okay, so immortal means someone okay. who is not subject to death. Okay. Okay, do you agree? Right. Yes. That's, okay, you know what? I, that's a great definition. Good. Is God immortal? Yes. Okay. When, when somebody who's supposed to be God uh -huh. dies okay. and resurrects, right. is he immortal? Yes. Okay. Once again, what's the definition of immortal? What's your definition of immortal? Thank you. God so is not can a man. I, now can I Were you that? paying attention when I gave you my definition? So is Jesus immortal? Yes. So he wasn't killed on the cross? And he came back to life. No, no, no. Was he killed on the cross? Yes. Okay, so how can he be immortal then? He came back to life. No, no but you're... you're excuse me. Excuse me. He came back to life. Okay, let me ask you this question. Right. Did he come back to life? He did. After he died? Yes. Can God die? In Jesus Christ, yes. Because wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. We are trying to establish the truth. Okay. It's not a competition. I agree. Okay. So when I asked you earlier, okay. does God die? And you said no. Okay. Is God immortal? And you said yes. Right. Then we both agreed upon the definition of immortal. Okay. That he does not die. Right. Okay. And then you. But here's what you did. Like you, you cut me off already. No. Bro, bro. I, I have to. If you let, no, no. no, no. Hold your thought. No, let me finish. I have to because for the okay. sake of integrity, yeah. if we are going to have a conversation yeah. or a debate. If we, you have to walk in integrity, right? So let me finish, let me, and then no, you can give me integrity. Something. You ask without the question, contradictions. You ask the question, and you're fully aware of the incarnation, but you acted as though you were not aware of the incarnation. When did I say I didn't? I wasn't aware. So why would you ask a question? No, no. Why did you make that why? allegation? Because you ignored the incarnation. You asked, okay. "Is God immortal? Can yeah. God die?" But you know about the incarnation. So can I, let me finish. Can, if you're going to <laughs> ask me a question, yes. don't ask to entrap. Be honest. Okay, good. Okay. You finished? Yes. Okay, so the term immortal, which you already agreed with me, the definition of, means someone who does not die. If someone dies and resurrects, okay, that is still shows that person is Im not immortal, but mortal. Why? Because the one who doesn't die doesn't need to resurrect. Resurrection actually confirms mortality. You know why? Because only the dead rise. Only the dead need to resurrect and once you die even for a microsecond yes that that itself disqualifies any person who claims to be god because god god according to the quran is immortal al hay okay god according to the bible is immortal first timothy 6:16 it says he alone is immortal who lives in an approachable light whom no man hath seen or can see so my friend First and foremost, you need to establish whether God is immortal or not. Because if he is immortal, okay, then you cannot say he died and resurrected because that disqualifies his immortality and hence his divinity. Okay, so what I'm saying is that let's be sincere, like you said, and let's be honest. So instead of you changing topic every time you get stuck and trying to say it's an entrapment, which shows your insecurity, unfortunately, because my intention wasn't to trap you. My intention was to establish the truth. Okay? Let's go back to God. What's God? Is he immortal? Yeah, let's, let's deal with one topic at a time. Go on. So, let me start with this. Okay? Yeah. I do not know everything about God. If, and I don't believe anybody knows everything about God. Yeah. If every, if you knew everything about God, he could not be God. So if you believe, if you are a true believer in God, by definition, you must embrace mystery. Meaning that there are things about God you do not understand. If I believe in God, I must embrace mystery. Okay. If you bro, know everything bro, about bro, your God, listen, listen, listen. I don't want that God. With, with all due respect, you haven't answered the question. You, have limited. you haven't I even have. touched upon it. I okay, what was what was the topic I told you to discuss? No, listen, I have completely... Has he answered anything about immortality at all? Has he even touched upon immortality? Nothing. My question was specifically, I gave you even a reference from the Bible. First Timothy chapter 6, 16. It's not a mystery that God is immortal because he actually says that he is immortal. He alone is immortal, my friend. Look, I as a Muslim will agree with you we don't know everything about God. However, I will not interfere when God himself tells us what he is. And I will not contradict that. You, on the other hand, are clearly saying it's a mystery when God told you 
clearly that he's immortal. Once he tells you that he's, he's immortal, you cannot say otherwise. Okay? The reason you cannot reconcile his immortality with the fact that he died for you is because they are contradictory. But remember, I told you to answer my question. I, yes. So you, 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 are, you are agreeing with me that God is immortal. Is that right? Yes. Just to clarify. And no. <laughs> yes, you said earlier, you said to be honest. No, listen. Yes, Integrity, no. honesty no. goes out the window.